The coronavirus continues to impact our day to day lives on every single level, whether it be work, school, grocery shopping, you name it. How can we make educated decisions on our day to day plans when the Iowa Department of Public Health doesn't show certain data? Well, let's look at what we know. First, the IDPH's website shows a ton of data for positive cases in the state. You can find out how many people were tested on a certain date for not only the entire state, but also down to specific counties. However, if you look at data on deaths and recoveries, you can can't see that specific data like you can for positive cases. Now the IDPH says that change happened recently. So why should you care about this? It's pretty simple. Not seeing certain information can impact your day to day life. If deaths are spiking, you can't see if they happened all in one week or if they've happened over time. Same goes for recoveries. Secondly, we noticed that the state retroactively reported data from March, April and May during the month of July. This graph shows the differences from positive cases from March to April listed on July 14th and July 21st, just one week apart. The differences are small, but those add up over time. And the Iowa Department of Public Health says there's a lot of reasons why they adjust numbers that far back. Sometimes case investigations find out the person tested that day was actually from a different county or even a different state. The department also deduplicates some of the data, meaning that if a person is tested more than once, their extra tests are deleted from the system. But why can't Iowans see certain data anymore? Well, privacy. Some counties are so small that you'd be able to find out who died or recovered on a specific day, the IDPH says, and a team of epidemiologists and lawyers determined that it's too much of a risk. Now, do you have a question on Iowa's COVID-19 testing or how data is shared? Text the number on your screen. You can also submit news tips, photos, and more.